Welcome back to the My Player Save. We are three games unbeaten with a 3-3 draw and 2-2-2 two, two, two draws. Unfortunately, our form prior to those three unbeaten games, not great. We haven't won in nine games in all competitions. Of course, two of those were against Championship Queen's Park Rangers, but the rest against League Two opposition that we really should be doing better against. Personal form has been okay. Not spectacular in all of them, but during that spell we have scored five goals and created one as well. But unfortunately, as a team, especially in the QPR game, uh, we've we've not been sensational. So with Crawley, Gillingham, and uh, Brain Forest Green, I think it was, uh, to come today, we'd very much like to start turning that form around, please. We're mainly going for personal accolades now for the remainder of this season as it looks like the playoffs are pretty much beyond us at this stage. They get 14 points. Could be close close to 11 if we win our game in hand, but still it's it's a sizable leap. But if we can win every game remaining this season, then I don't suppose there's any reason why we can't reach the playoffs. But there's still enough games left that we could potentially go for the league goal scoring record. I currently have 19 in 32. Paul Mullin scored... 32 in 46 or actually I don't know whether he played all 46 games in uh, in League 2 that season for Cambridge United but we know that the league season record is 32 because it was Moles that got it for Cambridge United three years ago so we'll aim for it I'm, I'm going to have to score uh, a decent haul of goals in the remaining 14 games but if I can score one goal per game on average then that will give me the record by one with 33 so we have our target Personally, we have our target with the team of try and get to the playoffs, but mainly we just want to make sure that we return to some sort of form to encourage teams to buy me. To be like, hello, I'm worth picking up. I score goals in an average team. Imagine what I could do for you. Do drop the video a like if you're enjoying the content continually. I'd appreciate it very much indeed. Make sure you subscribe to this second channel here. Chesno plays you won't miss out on more. The Chelsea save continues over on the main channel, so do keep your eyes peeled on that. And thank you to Homer J, to Rooster JJ, and to Tice T for your continued support in the comment section. Do keep those comments coming. It continually helps the content as well. I appreciate it. Let's go and earn your support here away from home against Crawley. Let's go for 30% dribble success because we always like to go for an easy one at this stage. Can we? Please, please, for the first time in nine, now in ten, get a victory. Finding well, go again. Plays it into me nicely. Junior Moraes making a good run. Through there is going to be Randall. Randall could come back to me. He has done. It's a nice run by Namain, but I can't get it to him. A little back heel there to Palmer. Palmer to Namain. Namain with a shot and Adai with a save. Positive, really positive start. Good flow of passing. Oh, it's really nicely done, but I just can't quite get there. Even more positive start, but still no goal to show for it. Into Scott, to me. Ah, I tried to play a first time pass and it just wouldn't quite come off for me to get it back to Kidwin Scott so I could go down the line again. And I mean, oh, my losing of possession nearly cost us a goal. Thankfully, they've shot wide there, but Crawley could easily have taken the lead. Kelly, nicely to Castrati. They might be slotting someone in of themselves. Lolos in behind here, into the middle. The back post is forced and tipped over by Slocum. Crawley pushing. Failing so far, but pushing to get themselves into the lead. Away, please. Can I get there? It's going to make Kedwin Scott go after it, and he's won it well. Dink it. He can't be offside. He was inside his own half when the ball was played. He's headed it quickly to Randall. Sorry, to Scott, who plays Randall back in. He's forced himself wide here. Randall, can he find a teammate? Maybe. He'll find me. Oh, and I can't find the pass. I was just about to kick it to the man on the edge of the box, Matty Palmer. O'Brien's won it back brilliantly. Palmer finds me. This time I will find a teammate. It wasn't meant for the main. It was meant for Kedwin Scott. But the ball's in. And on the head of first time. Oh, the shot goes wide. Real battle with the defender in the middle there. Proper physical battle that I won. But, yeah. Then I ended up in a heap on the floor. The main. Scott. Palmer to me. Go on the main. Through that gap, son. You're in. Have a shot. He's forcing some wide. I'll call for it again. And I take a quick shot. Oh, went for a first timer, but didn't quite power it up quickly enough to be able to get it away. And it looks like we're going to be nil-nil at the half. Or are we? That was a brilliant opportunity for one-nil at one end. It may well be one-nil at the other. 
and is punished cruelly for not taking the chance. We will be behind at half time. There. Corner for Crawley as we try and get things back in our favour here away from home at the start of the second half. Campbell, Slocum saves and it's another corner for Crawley and the pressure continues. We've been scoring goals in recent games as you saw from the form at the beginning of the episode. A 2-2 draw, a 2-2 draw and a 3-3 draw. By any measure, oh you weren't quite quick enough by any measure. That's good goal scoring form as a team. It just so happens that we've been conceding just as many as we've been scoring, unfortunately. Huh, eight goals in three games is a good return at one end, but eight goals in three games is not a good return at the other. Huh. So far, it's nine in one way and s still only eight in the other, and that's the wrong way around. Hopefully, we can make it nine and nine sooner rather than later. Not if I play passes like that, though. Good header by Cameron. Get it forward, please. The main. That's uh, not forward, gentlemen. Come on. I'm not sure if you're aware. We are losing, gentlemen. And the only way to not do that is to come forward on the attack. Give that to Matty Palmer. And he just immediately gives it away again. <sighs> I've not been great, but it's not like the team are... Dragging me with them here at the moment. I'm on a 6.6. .6. I'm apparently now at risk of being subbed out. The rest of the team are not necessarily performing any better. I'm the second highest rated performing player on the side so far. They're certainly being the better team. And we are destined, in the minute at least, for 10 games in a row in all competitions. Eight in the league, two in the FA Cup. Without victory. 10 minutes to go here. This second half... Oh, has been really frustrating. Not much happening. But hopefully if there is one thing to happen, it's us scoring a goal. I, at this stage, I'd take the point. Still 10 games without a win, but it's at least not another defeat. Keeps the unbeaten streak going. Namain, I'll call for it in here. Give it to me. All right. Just kick it into the middle to the void to absolutely no one then. Moraes, I'll call for it again. And I'll try and squeeze it off. All I could do there was have the shot. All anyone could do is at some point shoot to try and score and force the issue. But I can't force anything. We are going to lose this game by a goal to nil at the least to Crawley. And they may well score on the counter-attack. If they do, I'll show you it. If they don't, we'll cut to the end. Hello. Oh, Kedwin. If he uses his feet, maybe he plays a more accurate pass. He kind of force-chested that towards me. And it didn't work. A 1-0 loss to Crawley Town away from home. It could have been different. It wasn't. Ten straight games without a win. Uh, maybe in the next one? Beep, beep. 24 minutes till countdown. Till countdown. 24 minute countdown till the game. Palmer turns up in a lovely little blue jacket look. So does uh, Rawlinson as well. Must have the same tailor. 30% uh, dribble success rate. We'll go with that one again. Let's see what we can do here at home against Gillingham. Back at Meadow Lane. Can we finally please win a game of football? We went on some really good form and pushed for the playoffs. And it's just, well, died. Ch oh, that's nasty. We might be in trouble here. Advantage we played, so it's only going to be a yellow. I'll take this short. I'll call for it again as a three ball. And from range. Yeah, all right, Fez. Find myself having to drop deeper and deeper just to try and get involved in the play. Randall will find me. I've turned well. I've got many men next to me. Look for Palmer. Palmer with a little flick. And Kedwin Scott. Oh, my Lord. We're winning a game. The assist of the assist, if that's even a thing. Notts County 1. Gillingham nil in the 34th minute. Kedwin Scott bags. The main. Palmer into me. Oh, finding Crowley. Go on, Dan. Back heel. Kedwin Scott shot blocked. Crowley shot blocked. Will it fall to a teammate? No. We've had 69% possession in that first half. That's the most dominant. We may well have been all season in terms of having the ball. We're winning the game as well. It could be the game to break the streak and the game to restart a different one. It's got options out wide, but... They've given us the ball back again. They've done that far too much in this game, Gillingham. 
It's so pleasing to actually be in front and, not only that, the team be playing well as well. Really refreshing. Coleman, Mahoney, it's going to open up, isn't it? Here's Bond, strike from distance, held well by Stone, who's back in the starting lineup now. The manager definitely doesn't know who his preferred goalkeeper is at all, does he? Tried to win that to knock it down to Bostock and couldn't. Tried to outmuscle that man and win it back and couldn't, but at least we put enough pressure on him that he misplaced the pass. Randall will look for me here. And I've got a man next to me there. We'll find Crowley. Crowley's got Kedwin Scott. Scott's got Namain. Namain could play me in. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I'll look for a teammate. Palmer! No second goal. But really good football again from us. More of the same for the rest of the game. And we'll surely see a big dub. What a big dub a 1-0 would be. Williams through the gap to Sittel. Man in the middle, if he can find him, goes for goal. Finds the far top corner. It might not be that big dub. Gillingham have themselves an equaliser. Oh, And McKenzie, 13 to go. Mahoney down the line. Into the middle. Tipped over the top by Stone. Yellow card for the man that broke my legs earlier on. Please don't tell me I'm coming off now. No, we're all right on a 7.5 at the minute. Still time left in the game for a winner to be found at either end. Hopefully the end will be this one. I mean, not this one. <laughs> I almost just wished a winner for Gillingham there. Get it down the line. Get it down the line. Get it down the line. Get it down. Okay. Langstaff. Nice. Here's Randall. Mm, don't do any sort of weird flick, please. Shoot. Langstaff, oh, blocked. Nemain wins the header. I'm in. And, oh, post. Post and wide. Jeffries into Williams. Into Jeffries again. And away. Well done, Randall. That was could have been dangerous. I'll lift it to ensure that it reaches him. And it doesn't reach him. That'll be game. Well, a 1-1 draw is better than a 1-0 defeat. We're getting there, but still the win eludes us at the moment. Can we get it against Forest Green instead? Wrexham 5, Newport County 2 in the Welsh Derby. I actually get a minus 5 there. What? I wanted an 8.5, not a 7.5. I thought, hang on, I've done that. No, I needed an 8.5. Uh, bugger, right? Well, we will have to train then to get ourselves back in the starting lineup. Forest Green away comes next, but certainly we'll be able to get sales in the 11 again, so that's nothing worth worrying about for the time being. Uh, wow, two shots on target or two goal involvements. Uh, I haven't had a goal involvement in the past two games, so I'll go for the shots on target. That could be, at the very least, what I get, and if those two shots on target end up going into the back of the net, then, well, great, because then I've got the other objective too. Maddox in behind. Lovely first touch. Squared. Morton, shot, saved. Brooks back in the line. We've had three games today and three goalkeepers today. Yes, certainly the manager doesn't know who his best goalkeeper is. I think everyone's probably been as leaky as the other. Rostock into me. Not down the line. Randall, I'm going to keep running through this gap. Scott could play me. Has done. Sharp turn. Eh. Sharp turn was done at pace. Didn't have the close control, unfortunately. Oh, to get the ball close enough to me to get the shot away before the defender came to me. And just then, couldn't get the shot away before the defender got to me. Oh, so close. So close to scoring that goal. But at the minute, it has been a dead one for me as an individual. No goal or assist so far today. Although we did have the assist of the assist, I guess, for the goal against Crawley. But it's not really what we're after, is it? Need to improve, please. Morton to Dabo. Dabo to Morton. Morton may well shoot from this angle or look to find a teammate. And he's given it away. And Bostock's given it straight back to them. McAllister. Oh, Garrick surely from here. Yep, 1-0 Forest Green. It goes from bad to worse. And Morton. And McAllister again. Tackle by Rawlinson. Forward, 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 forward. Bostock. Nemain. He's got Crowley there. Palmer. Oh, tried to force it to me. Didn't work. Counter-attack for Forest Green. Mm, Dabo down the line. Inside to Morton. And there's space. And more space. Stevens. McAllister. Beats his man. Inexplicably plays the pass. Gives it away. Randall plays that long. But 
Not long enough. How have you underhit that so horribly bad, mate? Call for the ball went open. I was open. He played a sh pass. I'm going to start getting beggy soon. Boss stock to me. Go all the way out wide. Palmer is there in support. I'm in the middle. Oh, I'm on side here, I think. Brought down well and finished. That is a top quality goal. Down on the knee and into the back of the net. And I'm wanting to get up the other end as soon as possible on my left foot. Finally, a goal contribution today. All about the first touch, to be fair, if I'm honest. That was really, really pleasing. Could have messed that up quite comfortably, but it was good enough to watch again. We'll watch it get floated over here. And the first touch as the ball comes in. If I chest this, it might be too heavy a touch and take me towards the, towards the defender. I need to kind of keep the flow of the, the move going and let the flow of the ball going and keep the momentum moving in a certain direction. I get the get the knee control in and then use my strength to hold off more Taylor before then quickly getting the shot away as the second defender comes across. It's actually one of the best goals that we've scored this season in terms of technical ability and making the most of the opportunity presented to us. We are level. Stevens nicely into Garrick. And no! New post goalkeeper, please! 12 games without a win! Oh! 2 1 Forest Green with one of the last kicks of the game. I'm informed by live chat over on Twitch that the club record is 20 games without a win. We are on current form going to break that by a margin by the end of the season we could go significantly more than 20 games without a win we want to turn it around as quickly as possible but right now even though I'm back on the score sheet we're still not winning and not even on this occasion even getting the draw oh it was me calling for it uh, all right fine 2-1 Forest Green. We go again. Actually, we don't go again. That's the last game of the episode. Again, dropped out to the starting lineup. If I hadn't scored in that game, I might have said, uh, keep me on the bench. Maybe I'm the problem at the minute up top. I did grab a goal there, but we've dropped so far on the manager favour that by the time we get to the next game, I don't know, as training is going to be enough to even get me there. We'll do three heavy training sessions, but I'm not confident that that's going to be enough to earn me my starting spot back. For a heavy shooting one. Can I make it into the 11? Or are we going to have to settle for a spot on the bench? That is what we're going to do. Dropped by the manager. It's time to make last changes in potential contract offers since negotiation period comes to an end clubs will judge your whole season performance but they need to know they need to know what they need to know dot 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 how do i how do they need to know what how do i get to that message to know what the rest of that message is so all oh, five clubs now antalya sport Freiburg, exeter tyrol and kludes and i could go and play for kludes in the Romanian chat. I mean, that's potentially European football at Kluge. And Sally Spore, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get 20 more goal contributions in the remainder of the season. But so we have four potential options here for you guys to vote on at the moment. And well, they're quite varied as well, to be fair. The next episode will start with a substituted appearance coming on in the 59th minute at right forward. 1 0 down against Crew. Crew were down the bottom as well, aren't they? One nil down to the team at the bottom of the table. Nothing would sum up our season more and this run of form than losing to bottom of the bloody table. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, make sure you don't miss out on any more, and come and join me on Twitch and watch these live too. Check the main channel for the Chelsea career mode. We're into season two now over there, and we aren't far away from season two here either. That's all for now. Thank you very much. I will see you next time.